Hello, I'm JW. Uh, this video, just going to have a look at this testing device again with the uh, three neon indicators and the very limited uh, number of possible combinations it has listed on the front there. So you can get them all to light up in the ways described and see what happens if uh, some other combinations are connected and how wrong the uh, display can actually get. So what I've got here is the uh, testing device in one of these uh, four-way extension blocks. Uh, lead here, and I've taken the plug off so I can connect it into this uh, testing block so that will obviously allow easily to change the connections around in various different ways. So this of course is the uh, correct or proper way of doing things, so in theory the three lights should illuminate, and sure enough they do. So let's try some of the other combinations, starting with the options that it has printed on the front of the device. So uh, first of all on the uh, choice here is uh, no earth, so uh, that's easily achieved by removing the earth, and uh, we should get two lights only. Sure enough, we do. Next we have is uh, line in neutral reversed, so uh, place the earth there, and then of course reverse the line and neutral like that. And we should just get the one light on the end there, and sure enough that works also. Neutral fault, so uh, just put the wires back where they should be, and of course leave the uh, neutral unconnected. And again we have the two there, so uh, again that is correct. And uh, then we've got line and earth reversed, which uh, also will be those two just switched around. And that should just have the single light on the end there, which it does. So uh, seems to be a bit of uh, light sort of bleeding through into the uh, compartment next to it, but uh, anyway it's uh, one lamp is illuminated there, and of course the last one is that there's no power, well obviously uh, it doesn't light up at all. Now although that's uh, obviously working correctly, the problem here is that there's only a very limited number of options displayed there, and of the uh, options here you've actually only got six possible scenarios, including correct and no power, so not a great deal of information there. And it turns out there's actually a lot of different combinations which this thing simply doesn't work with. Uh, if you've got three terminals, and uh, effectively there's four possible combinations for each pin, because you've got uh, line, earth, and neutral, and of course not connected, it's also possible that two of the pins, or maybe even all three, could become connected to the same terminal. So you might have sort of two of them connected to live, for example, and uh, or two connected to earth, or whatever else. So with that in mind, uh, you've got four combinations and three pins uh, to connect to, so uh, the total number of combinations is actually 64, and here we've got six, so a uh, very small amount involved. So here's some examples of other possible uh, mistakes here. So uh, for example, if you have two connected to the same, how about line and uh, neutral connected to the same terminal? Let's tie that up a bit, so we have two in there, and we'll claim the earth was uh, connected just so, like that. And uh, what do we get? Well, who knows, because uh, none of these are actually going to be uh, applicable. And uh, we have to get this one here, which suggests that uh, line and earth have been reversed, which... Uh, not really, because uh, line and earth are actually correct. All that's happened is the neutral has become connected to line, so uh, it's giving the wrong answer, but it's not the uh, actual answer we were looking for. Of course, we connect all of them to either neutral or earth, then we're going to get nothing, which suggests there's some kind of fault, but uh, of course uh, we already knew that anyway, because it didn't work, and neither would anything else. Now in this combination we've got the three uh, wires obviously uh, as right as wrong as you can get. A uh, line there, obviously the neutral, and the live connected to both the neutral and earth wires, so uh, that's a bit of a horrendous mess. But if we turn on, all three lamps indicate it's all is well. Pretty obviously uh, all is not well, because uh, this is a total disaster. However, the device claims it's alright, so uh, if you were just in the uh, plugging it in and this was the only testing you were doing, you would of course assume that this was perfectly fine. However, of course, you've got uh, live connected to both the earth and neutral. That means the metal casing of any device is connected to live, which would give people a shock if they happen to touch that. And obviously, uh, appliances in theory would still operate, You've basically got a reversed polarity there, but again it's AC, so that's not actually going to matter in the slightest. 
so that's uh, about probably the worst setup. We've got uh, a situation where things will work correctly, but of course, uh, anyone touches the casing of the metal item, then they're going to get a severe electric shock, not something you want to be happening. So that's the uh, rapid test uh, socket tester, although all the others of a similar design are going to give the same results. And if you are going to use one of these things, uh, ideally don't because they're not particularly reliable. Although if it is the only thing you've got, it's probably better than nothing. Uh, just to be aware that if it shows all is well, then it could be. But on the other hand, uh, there could be certain other types of faults, as we just saw there, which uh, could result in a dangerous situation. And if it shows that all is not well, well again, that's probably correct. Although uh, don't go any relying on the information on the front, because uh, the faults given may or may not be the actual fault concerned. And of course, if it doesn't light up, well, obviously there is something wrong. Possibly the uh, fuse in the back has gone. Now I had a look at the uh, instructions for this thing, as you can actually still buy this uh, item amazingly. I'd like to say this one's about 20 odd years old, and it seems that the fuse inside is not there as any kind of protection for this device at all. It's simply there so you can test whether the fuse works or not. Uh, not, in my view, a very sensible way of testing a fuse. Uh, a simple battery operated continuity tester would do the job much more reliably and certainly safer. But uh, if something does go wrong inside these, then it's fairly likely that smoke and flames will be the result because they appear to be using just the resistors inside as uh, sort of fuses. And if something shorts out, well, uh, this is going to go up in flames, no trouble. So uh, until that video where it does go up in flames, thanks for watching.